Hi guys, welcome back to Lennox Bennett channel. If you're not following me on TikTok, if you're not subscribed to my YouTube channel, if you're not following me on Instagram, LinkedIn, all the social media, all right? You should. All right, so this one says multiply three and two thirds by one and a half. So let's do it now. So we have three and two thirds by actually mean multiply, right? So one and a half. So let's do the conversion. 3 times 3, that's 9, plus 2, 11 over 3. So we convert it to an improper. Let's do the same. 1 times 1 plus 1 is 3 over 2. And of course, we can cancel here. And 11 over 2 is equal to five and a half. So our answer is this. Alright, let's move on to 12. It says the length of a water pipe is 7 meter. How many quarter meter lengths can Jane cut from the pipe? Think about it practically. Guys. If it's one, you can get four out of one, right? So one is equal to four because you have four quarters in one hole, right? So it will be 7 multiplied by 4, which is 28. Another way you could look at it, if you have 7 divided by a quarter, it's the same as saying, okay, 7 over 1, so it's 7 over 1. You know what the rule says when you multiply dividing, change it to multiplication and reciprocate. So we still get over 28. Very nice, go on. All right, Randa computer homework for one and a half hours. Jerry took two and a quarter hours to do the same homework. How much longer did Jerry take than Randa to complete the homework? So, one take one and a half hour. You can convert to minutes if you want, and then I don't know if that works for you guys. But what, what we can see, we need half an hour more to make two, right? So we need half of an hour. Plus when we get to two, we need another quarter hour. So that's three quarters hour. We convert it to minutes, right? This is basically 90 minutes. And this would be 120 plus a quarter, that's a 15. So that's what, 135? And then you do the difference and you convert it up. With the subtraction, that's what, 45 minutes, right? So there are so many ways you can look at this, guys. Alright, Mrs. James is sewing tablecloth. Each tablecloth requires two and a half meter of fabric. How many tablets can be made from 20? meter of fabric so again this look like a division right because you have 20 meters and you need to get two and a half so i'm thinking it's about eight because if you divide it by two you get 10 so it's lower so it's eight but let's just work it out so it's 20 and you're gonna break it up into one and a half let's do the conversion Two two is four and one five over two. So you're gonna divide it by five over two. I'm not gonna write it. What's happening? What's happening? So it's five over two. And we know the view already. It's gonna be twenty over one. We change the multiplication so that becomes two over. Gives us 40, 20 times 2 divided by 5, which is indeed 8, as I had said earlier. A length of wood is 9 feet long. Three pieces, each of length 2, each were cut off. What fraction of the original length of wood remains? Alright, so they say now it's 9 feet long. So that's, let me make a note of that. It's 9 feet long. We're going to cut off 
three pieces of two. So it's three times two. That's the total that we cut off, six feet. And they want how much remain. Very important, the remain. So they don't want how much to cut off. So it's three out of nine, which is work out to one over three, because we divide both sides by three. So that's one third. If you have not liked the video, you know, yeah, wait, fun. All right, a ribbon, 7.6 meter long, is cut into six equal pieces. What is the length in meters of each of the pieces? So guys, I don't think we need to work it out based on the answers, right? This has to be this, because they're going to divide it by six. <coughs> So it's an equal pieces, six into that one, six, one, six, subtract they get one, they have 16 now, six into 16, two times, two times six, 12, that remainder of four, so you get 42 here, if I carry down the two, and of course, this goes seven times. All right, let's move on to 17. Which of the following set of number is written in order of size, starting with the largest? So it's the largest. So in this case, this couldn't be the largest. So you know the largest have to be 7. All right, this. All right, no. 0 0.7 is larger than 0 0.07. All right, so this would be C. Very nice one, though. All right, given that 6.2 is equal, 6.2 times 1.8 is equal to 11.16. What is the value of 0 0.62 times 18? Now, all we have to do is to count the number of decimal places, which is 3. So, we can write back the number 1116. But that's going to give you the same product, but it should be 3 decimal places because it's 3 here, right? Here we add 1, 2, so now we have 1, 2, 3. So it's 1.1, 1. 1, 6. Let's move on to 19. Sammy got 3 out of 5 questions correct. Percentage he got correct was, no percent mean out of 100. So we times it by 100%. My students always say, let me put it over one. So let me do that guys. Five into this one, five into a hundred goes 20 times, three times 20, 60 percent. And we are on to the final one for this paper. Please guys, ensure that you are subscribed, ensure you follow me on TikTok so you can get more videos. All right, number 20 says, if 20% of a number is eight, what is the, the number? And this is this coming CXC, so you guys can think about it. Um, twenty percent of any number is basically dividing the number by five. So what we can do, we can say eight times five, which is forty. So our answer would be forty in this case. Here is a number to be a part of this awesome class. What a CXC, Cap City and Guilds. 876-549-2161. Come on, let's spell it. I'm out. I'm out. I'll see you guys in another video. Big up everybody who support me. Much love. Hey, make sure you like the video. Make sure you like the video. What are I deal with? I'm out.